So here's the scenario. I need to log in to my instance of SQL Server as an SA. So here's my sysadmin SA. I'm going to type my password in. And login failed for user SA. That's a big problem. I can't remember my SQL admin password. So there's two ways we can fix this. The first one, not many people know about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up SQL Server Configuration Manager. And I'm going to go to Microsoft SQL Server. Go to my properties. My startup parameters. And I'm going to type in hyphen F. And I'm going to add that. And what that does is that's going to start SQL in a single user mode. So only one person can log into it. So I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to restart my service. And here we are. Now, here's the thing. If I go to computer management, I'm going to check on my local instance. So if you're in a workplace environment, you'll need to log on to the server to do this. I'm going to open up the local administrators group. And if I'm in here, I'm going to have admin rights on my local instance of SQL Server, which I have here. So I'm going to shrink this down, close this down, close this, cancel off this. And I'm going to connect up here. And it allows me to connect. I'm going to scroll down to security and logins. And I can see, sure enough, my SA password. I'll click on properties. And go to the status and I can see I need to enable it. So there, there it's enabled. We're good to go there. However, I still don't know my password. So I'll just refresh this. So I'll go down to properties, change my password, and I'm going to go type my password in. And click OK. Then I'm going to close out of this. I am going to go back up to SQL Server. Go to properties, go to my startup parameters, remove this from single user mode, apply that. Now I'm going to restart my instance. Close this. And when I come to here, I'm going to log in. I'm going to use SQL Server Authentication, use the SA, and let's use this new password. I'm logged in. Perfect. The other alternate method we can do here is if we've got another account. So our, this is my other account here. And this will be an SA as well. So my second method of doing this, if I couldn't log in as an SA, let, let's pretend I forgot my password. I'll type my password in wrong. The login's failed. What I can then do, I can log in under another admin account, I can come up here, go to my logins, go to properties, and I can change my password. Okay, that, and I can now log in under that account because I know what the password is. That's a really simple way to reset or enable the SA password on SQL Server if you happen to have forgotten it. Any questions, let me know below. I hope that's helped.